It's uh, June 3rd. We're here at Penn State Horticultural Research Farm. We've been doing a, a number of seasons with uh, research with Dr. Orslick. And Dr. Orslick's been involved with the Stoller Group with the use of uh, the advanced technology products that are coming out of the Stoller Think Tank. Um, one of the concepts that I had uh, thought of and discussed with Dr. Orslick was the use of reserve power in combination with nitrogen, which reserve power is a advanced product, and we would combine it with uh, the uh, chelate chemistry, which is a proprietary product of Stoller. Um, it has a polyamine structured chelation base. We, we put out a corn plot back in March and as I watched this corn plot with Dr. Orslick uh, move into the uh, season, we got the corn out of the ground and we were looking, we had a, a group uh, from Growmark FS and some independent consultants here back in uh, early May and I made some observations and we had some discussion of doing a side dress treatment in addition to some of the inferro work we were doing. The side dress treatment involved the application of reserve power chelate super starters I spoke about. This corn was, was uh, side dressed approximately about V5. And today we have a team of people here. Again, we went out, uh, sectioned some corn, the same section. And, and when you look at these two corn plants, or stalks, they're, they're basically uh, similar in length. Uh, we've noted, you can notice there's very little difference here at the inner node. We cut them as closely as we could. And then we took a look at the ear development and the sectional density of the stalk. And the addition of the reserve power with the chelate super starter, we have approximately a 45.5 gram weight with this and a 68 0.3 gram weight by the addition of two quarts of sugar, uh, two quarts of reserve power, and one quart of chelate super starter. Uh, that's approximately a 50% difference in weight, fresh weight. What Dr. Orslick has agreed to do is to set up a trial uh, or a drying process to dry these down to look at the dry matter weight. But one of the things that we were looking at is this technology supports the nutritional needs of boron some micronutrients, manganese, zinc, uh, magnesium, and copper. And then we added uh, the compo another component that's in contained in the reserve power. We tend to increase the vascular size of a plant. And we also showed a difference in dry matter, or in total fresh weight, which we will go after uh, a uh, dry matter weight as he dries these. We have some remaining corn stalks in the trial at the greenhouse and um, further data will be gathered from that as we move forward.